The fact is, there's a glaring loophole in all this the size of the Grand Canyon, and this is how it works. You get stopped for driving without insurance, the police seize your car, and they bring it down here to be crushed. Now, you can only get the car back if you can show that you have valid insurance. So what you do is you get a mate who has a comprehensive insurance cover to drive any car, to come down here, wave his cover note, he gets the car back, and you are back on the road. You couldn't make it up. With such huge numbers of people routinely choosing to drive without insurance, it's fairly clear to me that the current penalties just aren't working. And the threat of getting pulled over by the cops can't be much of a deterrent either, because there are people out there who have been driving without insurance not just for years, but for decades. Billy, Quentin Wilson from The Tonight Programme. You've been disqualified from driving 56 no, no, times, no, 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 and no, we've no, got no. film of you driving yeah. just the other day. What have you got to say about this? I'm not saying nothing. You're uninsured. I've got pictures of you in my pocket here. When are you going to stop this? When are you going to stop being a hazard to other road users? 56 disqualifications, Mr. Feely. And so to the Volkswagen Touran. Now, apart from the fact that I don't really know what this car's supposed to do or where it sits in the market, um, I think it's gloomy. It's a lot of money for what it is. It has a very cheap feel to the plastics. I know I'm sounding like a build-quality junkie, but at this sort of money, it matters. The dash is very bland. Engine, this is a 1.6. It feels very thrashy. So... And aesthetically, I mean, I know this one's black, but it, it does look like something you'd stick your arm up and hail on the Bayswater Road, so I'm not a fan. Now, with nearly 30 million cars on UK roads, driving safely is absolutely vital. But in the past, one of our stars has found this more of a problem than others, particularly when it comes to the art of parking. Now, Antonia's specialty is hitting other people's bumpers. Now, why is this, Antonia? It's not true. Don't hit other people's bumpers. Look, I, I could show you yards and yards and yards of footage where we do hit bumpers, don't we? I've only done it once, and I wasn't feeling well at the time. <laughs> back, back me up, everybody. We've seen lots and lots and lots of hitting of bumpers because, Antonia, you don't concentrate. That's right, isn't it, expert? She doesn't. Next up is couple number five, motoring expert Quentin Wilson and his partner, Hazel Newbury. Quentin's presented Britain's Worst Driver, Britain's Worst Home, Britain's Worst Husband, and here he is dancing. <laughs> Don't expect too much. Quentin Wilson has been there and done that, and he knows what it feels like to be given one by what? Greg Revel Horwood. <laughs> Literally, I got <laughs> one point from that vicious devil, um, and I still have the, uh, the absolute lowest ever recorded score, even lower than yours, yeah, so There are men Indian. biting the backs of their hands as they watch her. I mean, she is yeah. just an Those ocean legs. going 22 carat Ron Sealed honey. Mm. We... Ooh, that is a good phrase. Ooh. <laughs> you should be a judge. You prepared that one earlier. Inside this hotel are five atrocious but aspiring artists whose performances are frankly groan provoking. Now, over the next three days, we're going to help them as much as we can and teach them the craft. And their finale is, and they don't know this yet, to perform on live national television, at which point we will know who has to shoulder the heavy burden of being known as Britain's worst performer. The dilemma for the car companies is uh, like the man at Decca Records who said no to the Beatles. You know, you get it wrong, and it's not 100 grand, it's not 500 grand, it is billions and billions of pounds that you will waste and it could mean the difference between you know survival or not <laughs>